eighty Miss Ramo, Abusia. I know death has separated a lot of people and God. But let me be here and tell you some mystery. Ya money say we could me walk at the age of maybe at 32, 38, 40, no. But the fear of free mono. You don't know the battle in it. And the battle in it, you no, know, you weren't ready to fight together with this man. Hello, we see a four year movie be a quava. A year in your bar, a disa foa, wash a year in the speech at on a say. Nanny speech at on a wash a say in a crop walk a can. Almost say, Oh, ye near by a day. On the enemy say speech at on the air. Obet me, I a dear. Obet me up on the home or DP. A son say ye near bay dear. Or so cast a moa say ye day not as a own castle. And tin a speech at on ye dear. And ye near bay ye were far every. And same ne dear. Or shall send us a bobo soa. A bit of one anon a co wa 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 wa. Chess a ye near bay dear. Na no ati e won ni ma bibu kwemu. O gusua chese o kasa na e ni kamomu hawa e ya no si fa ye ni mi emano. Aye to de bu hono ma chese. It looks like se o ma story. E to de bu ma se wonu wa kasa e kana brabu mun sem. En sem ni de chese o ti mu se o kasa o hume so sa. O gusua no o ma ni speech no. E ti e gusi a fo ma ye ti e ye ye nuya. E disa fo a speech at on ye biye. Ah, any come on. President of the Republic of Ghana, Dr. Maudu Baumia, to our Honorable First Ladies, Her Excellency Rebecca Ekufuado, to the Second Lady of the Republic of Ghana, Her Excellency Samira Baumia, to all our corporate bodies, governmental bodies, all the good people of Ghana, I say good evening from the brand Edu Sefua. Before I begin, I'm a 33 year old woman born to Madame Cecilia Akusia Foriwa in the western north of the Republic of Ghana, then western region. I was born in a far village called Fakabra. I lived with my mom till the age of four. I remember, though there were no senses, but I go to the farm with my mother. Those are the things that I remember from childhood. I, I remember plugging Pepe, those kind of things when I was a child. So at the age of four, my dad came to the village for me. Those times that I was with my mother, I know that people would tell me that she's a single mother. But no, there was a man behind. So my father came to the village that she's coming for me. And when he came, you know, the Western North and the Ashantis, they were like, oh, we won't agree. Yeah, that kind of stories. So a man in the village, the late teacher, said, Mumanen Fanenko, so the ne kona bibi kotunua, mume bisa mimi teacher. So then the road was clear for my father to take me to Dryan Kwanta. So when we got to Dryan Kwanta as a child, I knew nobody, but my father was talking to people. So I saw myself running far away to some kids playing. So in the village, someone they brought me, let's say five minutes ago, my father could not find me. How? But when they came in, 
I was with my other grand auntie, which I never knew, but I was just playing with the kids. That's how adventurous my life has been, even from childhood. So when my dad came for me, they took me to my father's mother. And that is where the battle began. You know when they take you to the village as a child, so my father was like, no. I brought my daughter to my sister, who is Abina Ajewa. She's still alive. So my father left me with her in the village. And he came back to Accra. That's Duyayan Kwanta, uh, for region of the Republic of Ghana. So a week later, my auntie took me to a school around Duyayan Kwanta Hospital, modern international school. It was so funny when we got in there because my dad had brought me from the village and my auntie knew no name they are given to me. So at the school, my auntie was like, your friend Edu. And the teacher, the teacher was like, Edu Dien. Then he said, my auntie said, oh, Edu na na your friend, ne papa dene boss, your friend Edu. Not so okay. My auntie said, yeah, madame forbid the rose. So let's call her Rose Edu. So the teacher was like, all oh, rose people, forgive me. The teacher was like, they be rose di ya yem pe, ya pe din fu framanu. And ya yem fe ne regina. So then the school, modern international school, Adria Kwanta, named, the teacher and my auntie named me Regina Edu. Even at the age four, five, I was so smart and intelligent. I could pick up on dictation. I could pick up on so many things in the school. So at a very small point, my father came back again that now he wants to bring me to the city. That is Accra, Ghana. So my father brought me to my stepmom, that let's say my step family. So I started living with them. And in a short while, my father was like, No, I have to put her back in school. One thing that I bless my father for is he gave me good education. So if anyone who has lived at Alajo, there is a school called New Star Preparatory School. That's where my father took me. And in the school again, I was so smart and intelligent. I was a quick child. So getting to a point, my father said, okay, I would love my daughter to go to a boarding school. So looking through, my dad picked one of the best schools, which is Prince Boatin Memorial School. And I was going to the boarding house. So as the process is, they bought my provisions, they bought my chop boss, they bought everything that I was to go to school with. Then she, we were in the eastern region. At the eastern region, where you can locate Prince Boati Memorial School, and at that time, that was the best school recorded in the eastern region. And now, oh yes, it's still my school. So at Prince Boati Memorial School, you know when you go to a boarding house, how it goes? You, you are given to a senior house mistress. So my father took me to Madame Asabia, I am one person that my father loved when I was a child and still loves me. So they took me to Madame Asabia. 
Madam Asabi, I was like, oh, we are happy. We have a new student, etc. So, Master, Madam Asabi, I took my chores, my provisions, everything to her cubicle. And let me tell you all a funny story. When Madam Asabi took my troubles and everything to her cubicle, I made some friends. They came to me and they were like, go for your troubles. Madam Asabi will squander your provisions. This is what happens here. So I went to Madam Asabi. That's some of my story at Prince Party. I said, ah, for my troubles, mommy. Name Fanko. So I took the troubles and I kept it in the dormitory where I was. So ladies and gentlemen, within a week or two, my friends, this, they ate all my provisions. So now the journey has begun. At Prince Bwati Memorial School, I still hold the record of, if not say, the best student, the best three students of the school. I was, I was, I was so intelligent. I think that is why, or I feel that's why, my dad was so much in love with me as a daughter. So through Prince Bwati Memorial School, I started encountering life problems, all because I always go in to defend people, people who could not defend themselves. And it is all because the kind of woman that brought me up, which is my stepmom, is a tough woman. So I, I got that toughness naturally. So if I see somebody attacking someone in school, I will make sure that I will go and attack that person back, ladies and gentlemen. So I ended up finding myself in so many problems in school, but I was innocent. So when we got to JHS3, about to write our examination, the unexpected happened. A lady came tempting me no, tempting somebody. So going to defend, I ended up finding myself in problem. So I was suspended. It was a month to our mock examination. Hmm. So I came home and I told my father that Mr. Peter, Mr. Peter, our mama a me time, so I must see a mere two weeks pe. And as a father who loves a child, he said, okay, come and stay home. And lo and behold, when I went back to Prince Boatin to write the mock examination, I emerged the best student. So I was out of Prince Boatin Memorial School. And you know that time, you have the opportunity to choose three schools. So, you know, I chose Wesley High Girls Senior Secondary School, Agri Memorial Zion Secondary School, and Oda Secondary School. So the results were in. I did so well. So I was priding myself. I'm going to Wegehe, Wegehe. And my dad came and said, Good, I'm going to And I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm and I'm so okay there. And yeah, men come a third choice. But you see, even as a child, I was with so many choices. Mostly, I was fighting my father. I, I, I never understood, but as I'm growing, I am getting to understand myself. Because I had so many life choices, even though I knew nothing. So we got to Odas Secondary School. Odas School people, forgive me. I saw a tall building, which was so old. I told my father, Mr. Peter, school where the men go. Then my dad's friend was like, I told you, let's go to Agri and see. So when we got to Agri Memorial, if anyone knows Agri, Agri has one of the biggest amphitheaters. 
it's a beautiful school. So as soon as I saw the amphitheater, I was like, that school where ya na me pe. So we went to the assistant headmaster. The assistant headmaster was like, okay, any ebe fano said your kasa no be ni ma dear ye be fano. But the girl side is full, which is Segbe Fia Lucille is full. So she has to go to the hostel and be coming to school. And I forgot to tell you all that I was then determined perfect at Prince Boate Memorial School. So the journey continues. They took me to Oguakota International Hostel. Men fancy for now, Wahana, eh, wah. I'm around fancy, I'm at night. One of me calls to food. One of me, me, be dear. It is a Eba Park La Pam Abesamia. A yap and fancy dock on Ebra. Atta. That's where I was. So at Oguakoto, people liked me, my seniors, to the genius, to everybody. They so much, they so much loved me. So at Ogwara Koto, we have another opposite hostel called Joribab. So when we are going to school, we move along together. We, we, we get to school every day. So the second year, I went to the boarding house. So at the board in our second term, I heard them saying, ah, ye be ye entertainment perfect. Ye be ye entertainment perfect. It's a sign for us to bring out the, the new entertainment perfect. And anybody following my story would know that even from childhood, I have been the daughter of destiny. So one senior who prayed so much at Agri came to me and do Mamusa Omuyi Entertainment Prefect. Then your name dropped. I said, Hey, I was at Ogwa Koto first year. I don't know anything that happens in Agri. How do I become Entertainment Prefect? She said, Anytime they mention Entertainment Prefect, your name drops. So send your letter. And with me growing up, I have so much faith in God and I believe in prophecy. So I wrote my letter and I sent it to the school. So uh, during the vetting processes, they called us. Those who were in the school were talking terms. Oh, if they make me the perfect, I will do this, I will do that. For me, I was never at the boarding house. So I never knew what the school was about. So they called me, I said, oh, I was at the hostel, but I want to be the entertainment prefect. Like Nigerian president Tinibu, I want to be president. So I also told them, I want to be the entertainment prefect. But I was never at the boarding house. Ladies and gentlemen, the opportunity came. After the vetting, the whole school was paraded for prefect to be announced. They announced school prefect, blah, 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 blah. Then they came to entertainment prefect. Then the name was mentioned again. Regina Edu Safwa. Come and see them. You see this beautiful head? They, they said it was big that time because I was so small. So, oh, they took a CAB. We know about the house. Somebody points out, you know, that kind of thing. It's in school. So I became the head of entertainment, a science student. And again, I was intelligent and smart. So in Agri, I kept going. I kept doing it as a entertainment prefect, organizing event, doing it as it was. Then the time came and I left Agri. I completed with my mate. So when I completed Agri, I did want to go to 
Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology because I liked the name of the school. I just liked the name of the school. Like growing up, one political figure that I so much liked, Echo Spiel Gabra. I just liked the name. I'm th those kind of people. So I, I completed that degree. And when my result came, there was a battle of destiny. There was a battle. But in Penyu Fosse Sebe, Yen Jina Kwaun to Tun Krane, in Tinye Bedramun Ebi Ameton Masem. But I had to leave home. So I did. And today, wherever I stand, I tell the world that that was or is my greatest blessing. So when I left home, the dream of Kwame Nkrumah University, Science and University was over. So what do I do? I had to start something on my own. So ladies and gentlemen, I started selling second-hand clothing at Cantamanto, which they call, the English people are thrift or thrift or something. Those who like English, they call it thrift, but oppose. So during the false selling, I was so happy with the business because you use little money to go and gather force and you make a lot of money at the end of the day. So I was so happy doing that business. Ladies and gentlemen, I was a cantamanto selling my force, doing my usual business, going up and down. I was just happy with what I was doing. So one day, there are some people called at Kantaman to call Abaye. They seize clothing. They seize my clothing. And I had nothing to sell again. So I went in to pray because all the days of my life, I'm a woman of prayer. And I said, God, they've taken my second hand clothing. I've told you I don't want to go into anything else. What should I do again? So I had the voice saying, start going to hostels, universities, all that. So during the 2010-2012-13, for the university, Central University, Methodist University, talk about them, Legon, Bunny Hostel, they all knew me because I was always coming with my opposed back. Ladies and gentlemen, during this business, anytime I go to the girls and they're having conversation, I am a person that so much believe that when you go to Rome, do what the Romans do. So when I go and they're having conversations, I don't include myself because I felt I was just an awful seller. So one day, they were talking for long. And they mentioned, because, you know, I have the opportunity through my father, Mr. Peter Kofiedu, to go to good schools. I met good people. So, Akusia and friends were having a conversation. And in the conversation, Akusia called the renowned footballer, Abedi Pele's son, Rahim Ayu. So as soon as she did, I said, oh, that's my school father. She said, hey, Obi I said, no, that's my school father. Let me talk to him. So I took the phone, talking to him, and Rahim was like, ah, now we need my dear son, one to a school, so. And I'm so school father met on force. And not say So the first time I spoke, Akosia was like, ah, you speak so well. And you have to go on radio or TV. 
So I told Akosia that, Akosia, I don't know anybody so that will push me to go on radio or TV. So me, I'm selling my phone. She said, no, you don't need to know anybody. Go and use Google. I brought my phone back and Google. Let me say Google, okay? So I used Google. I started my Torah research. Then they told me that go where the game is. And lucky enough, I was selling at Cantamanto. So I, I knew Oprah Square was at the back of, Canta, of Rollins Park. France Media, France Photography, they are around. From specialized, everything, magic hands, BBI sets, so they have a straight gun for the set. Omombra, no more support. We shape room when they name my yaya. Yaya sets, we are 100%. We are kind of some of the bar. Even more bad than that. We should try to make us a yaya. It's 9 30 and people are here already. So we expect to say. Other people to prepare their journey. It's a speech marathon. It's, it's going on from 14th February, 9th February, day to day, fear day. It was the 14th February. It's Valentine's Day, you know, and I say spending all the Palm Royal Hotel. And that's it. Any update, Biano, yet the bedroom, Namaso Betting, so near a queen. I will say for a young one to me in. Namon supporting, not any, any kind of any fair for infamano. Yet I must see the break.